Hey guys, what is up? Um, I just wanted to show you guys a quick little video of the progress I've made on this mod so far. I know people have been asking me, sending messages like crazy. So I thought I'd make a quicker, well, I'll try to make it as quick as I can here. Um, so right now what I'm showing you is a uh, botanic garden. This would be the first thing you'd walk into through a portal, which I haven't put in yet, but you'll find this portal in Skyrim, and uh, this is the first thing you'll see when you walk in here. Uh, it's supposed to be like a botanic garden, like kind of like a backyard for the gem home. And uh, it's not complete yet. I still have to add the uh, uh, fruit trees and things like that that I want to add to make it more tropical-y looking. Um, most of the stuff I uh, used as resources from other modders, so like the all the trees were from uh, Gnobi Boy, as you've seen, all these tropical trees, redwoods, pretty much all the trees are from Gnobi Boy. Uh, the cactuses you see in this desert here from Strody, uh, Tamira also, mostly with the plants that you'll see in this mod. Um, I tried to come up with like like pretty much every region that you would come across in you know like a tropical area. Uh, there will be future reasons for it, but for now, it, I mean, it's pretty bland, as you can see. Uh, but there will be little spots in here that you'd only, you know, uh, I'm trying to think right now. Uh, certain types of fruit, or I was going to add like a little volcano-ish area here so you can find your igneous rocks. But, yeah, every, everything, every little location you'll see in this island has a purpose. Like, here, here's an island here. And again, this is... This botanic garden is meant to be in the middle of the tropical island, and you're supposed to be able to get out of it, but I don't even know if I'll even have that much time to make the island, so you're pretty much in the dead center of it. Uh, so as I, I can show you right here, some banana trees, and you can pick them. Oh, maybe I already picked them already. Oh, there we go. See, I picked some of these already. I want some bananas. And so there you go. There's some bananas. Works pretty well. Moon sugar there. Um... The water looks great. So as you can see, there's like a coastal redwood area here. You got the desert, you got tropical island. There's a jungle here you can kind of run into. Again, I still still need a little bit more work. Um, as you run through this jungle, you'll find a, uh, a swampy area. There's gonna be this uh, swampy vegetation, things like that. Oh, and another thing I haven't said anything about was uh, the firewood. Uh, I, I added 10 types of wood because I don't like the uh, the default uh, Skyrim. It, it's just it's just when I'm making weapons, it just you know using that same old uh, wood just looks terrible. So uh, I added different types of wood that you can actually pluck off the tree. Uh, I didn't want to add uh, fire stations or firewood stations because you just mine it infinitely, and I didn't want to. Uh, I want to make these kind of hard to get. So for now, some of these you can find. A little bit more common on this island more than other uh, trees anyway some you actually can't find on this in this garden you don't have to buy them some cherry trees anyway this is like a northern east section this is where you find apples and things like that more like more Skyrim type stuff just a little northern section there I guess for trees anyway and yeah that's about it for the tropical garden I guess I can show you the uh, gem store that I've been working on no judging it's not complete yet but Oh, and also I kind of turn into a bit of a museum as well. So when you walk in, the first thing you see is this. You know, I jump up here. It's, it's kind of like a, almost like a National uh, Geographic or what was that? What's that magazine called? Anyway, we look over here. I I put all the different types of uh, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rock in like a line, so you can kind of see how it kind of works. So right here, you got some lava here, and everything that's close by spitting around it is all your intrusive igneous rock so you like your granite and so on uh your extrusive it would be the lava spitting out outside of the volcano and you end up with basalt and uh what the heck oh that's rhyolite so rhyolite's kind of like your uh, your different types of obsidian and things like that putting stone or no sorry putting stone sedimentary anyway uh so as you go down you see the uh, the pressure putting cracks in the earth so heat and pressure cause or creates um what do you call it? Uh, it's like a metamorphic rock. I have it somewhere. 
Anyway, it's oh foliated. That's so this would be the foliated metamorphic rock, your slate and everything created by pressure and heat. Non foliated is just kinda like not heat, not pressure, more like weathering. And so you got your quartz and marble for that. Then you get to your sedimentary rocks. Uh, these are kinda difficult to classify because it's I mean, all I can say is there's classic rocks, which are, you know, you're putting stone, uh, sandstone, and sand. Like, I guess that's it's classic. And everything is, like, in its own domain. You know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's, what's that? What is that? Shale? So it's like a mud. It's not really a... Anyway, you get, you get the picture. It's just like a... Oh, fossil, too. That's not plastic. So, yeah. Sedimentary is what I mixed up. Oh, I, I guess I could just kind of show you around here. So I have, like, trees sticking out. This is, this is basically the Sovngarde. If you ever made the song guard, it's like a song guard retexture. I tried to go with azurite floors and walls, try to give it like a uh, kind of like a Babylonian look. Kind of like it. This is supposed to be where the entrance is to the island, but again, I don't think I'll have enough time to do the island. So right now it's initially disabled. So I'm probably just going to leave it like that. Just because the next Elder Scroll is coming out in like three years anyway, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get that far before I start modding on that one. Right here, as you get to the center of this uh, shop, you'll see this crafting area. These are basically designated for all the weapons and armor that I'm going to be adding to the game. So that way it doesn't crowd up the uh, original uh, crafting tables. So you'll go here and you'll you have to be holding the gemstone to uh, see what you can build. And, and there you have it. But with these ones, uh, you, you require your gem coins to actually use them because you're basically renting them. Uh, when you unlock the laboratory room and the gem home, uh, you won't have to pay coins in that one, but this one you will. So, so it's neat. You can still, you don't need the gem home to get it, but you know, it, it's kind of costly. There's a little, there's a little jeweler's bench there. So you can make any jewelers or jewelry mods that uh, uh, that I added to the game. Most of the jewelry I actually didn't make. It was from Saralith because she was able to detach gemstones from the metals, and I can work better with them. Laboratory workbench, obviously for your, you know, your gem armor, which I'll show you guys later. And then this is a diamond wheel. I had a little bit of trouble with this thing. I can't disable all the, uh, what do you call it, all the uh, vanilla stuffs. So you actually have to ignore all this and then go right to miscellaneous and in there. Now you can, so I got like a, what, a raw amethyst. I can now cut them on this thing, axonite. And then you can make jewelry basically off this thing, but you have to cut the stone first. So here, let's see. Let's see if this works. I go amethyst. Let's cut it, and I'm gonna bring it to the jewelry, jeweler's bench here. Uh, oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm still working on this. Where the hell did I put that table? I'm, I'm like, I'm like one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Click on. It. Oh, it's not appearing. Oh, cause I'm not even finished it yet. Okay, I'll show you this later. That was pointless. Anyway. This is the gem store. I'm gonna have to put a guy sweeping in here to make this sense. But as you can see, I uh, went with the vending machine scenario again, like I did in the original Skyrim. I do not know how to utilize the gem coins in the vanilla uh, currency. It just doesn't work. You can only have one currency, right? So this is the best way I can make it. Uh, so this is everything you can buy. Well, everything you see in each uh, vending machine, you can see you can buy whichever's in there. Um, so like for an amethyst vending machine, you can use amethyst coins, they, you know, you put it in there, turn it, and it drops in there, and then you could basically buy whatever's in this vending machine, but it, the thing about this is it will cost you a lot. Um, you, you're basically buying these for convenience, and the convenience will cost you, I mean, if you just constantly kept buying and selling, you end up with nothing. So you want to use these as least as possible. The only reason I added this to the game really is to give the uh, gem coins more uh, use or you can utilize them more. Uh, some people either don't want uh, the gem home and just want gem weapons so they can bring on all their coins and then just buy the gem, the specific gemstone you're trying to make the weapon for, collect enough of them and then you can make the weapon. But then people don't care about the weapons or gem armor or weapons so then what you can do is over here there's a like, gemstones for gem coins. So you click in here and then you drop, see down here, you drop whatever gemstones you don't want. If you don't want them all and you want the, the, the gem home, you can collect as many coins as you can, bring them over here and start buying off all the uh, smithing materials for the gem home. Because you're going to need a lot of material to build this thing. 
when, when you'll see you'll you'll start to see anyway people are very divided on that so that's how this kind of works it kind of works vice versa so if you want the gem gemstones trading the gem uh wait a minute yeah you want the gemstones you want to use your gem coins you've been collecting to get the gemstone uh, gemstones you want the gem coins well you, whatever coin or gemstones you've been holding on just bring them over here and uh get coins instead and then you can put it on towards the gem home rather than weapons or armor um yeah i think i covered that and then right over here is uh gem coins for gem coins so you could actually uh trade coins so you know you can trade 10 so you want 30 copper coins well if you have 10 silver coins you can trade them up uh, it only goes one step up one step down between the value of coin i don't want it to get too complicated uh, and the more you trade, the, the less you're spending, basically. And there's your gem home vendor. Well, it, this is just for the keys to unlock the gem home. And I want to add one more. I want to add, like, a grocery store, because you'll see when I show you the gem home. There's things I made, things I added, like this chocolate bar here that I added to the game. And there's other types of fruit. Actually, let's see here. Again, most of this fruit... Uh, oh, even bringing this up, uh, BFA Dragon made all these fruits, and he also made the uh, drink fruit drinks that I added to the game. Uh, I even added some of my own stuff. I think I made a blueberry. I don't know why blueberries are so taboo in games, but and I added a coca bean. I think that's from the uh, uh, what do you call it? And coffee. I think I added that. That's basically a. What is it? Well, the, the, it doesn't matter. I just kind of modified a couple things just to add more stuff to it. You'll see later again. Um, yeah, and uh, also there's all the firewood, so uh, if you're, you know, you're out of plucking wood from the trees and you can't get any more, you gotta wait 30 days or however, you can buy it from here. But, I mean, it, again, it's really costly. There's your snake wood there. That'll be for, like, the higher level tier weapons. It'll be made out of snake wood. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the gem store. I think I cut a bit of everything. So I can show the uh, gem hole now. Bit of a long trek. I might decide to move that door closer to the middle if it's annoying me enough. Still have to work on all this area. I don't know what I'm gonna add there. Leave some suggestions. Uh, what do you guys want me to put there? I can figure something out. Again, museum related. Oh, wow, it's nighttime. I've been in there for a while. So up here, once you bought your first key, you know, obviously you have to save up all your materials to even build this. Uh, you will be entering the main part of the gem home. It's going to cost a lot of marble and granite, as you can see. <laughs> and, you know, as what you're seeing right now is basically a retexture of solitude, except I, uh, my idea was to make a home that was obviously a gem home, but retextured out of uh, different parts of the game. So I'm going to start showing you some of these rooms. You'll notice they're, they're from different parts of the game, but just retextured. So it's like this is like a, a compilation of the game retexture of the gemstone so uh, I guess I'll just show you where the main entrance main entrance is actually up front there but it's not accessible again I'm not done the island so you won't be able to enter through there but uh, you will be this will take you to the botanic garden back to the gem house or whatever when you walk in here there's obviously your throne I think people are looking at that and going hey isn't that from trying to do a game of thrones thing uh, yes yeah that's my version of a gem version of the iron throne that's the gem throne uh, so the first room I will show you, I guess will be the bedroom. So this is a limestone room, collect your limestone and red jasper, and here we go. This is, oh, actually this ain't even done, I, even, I barely even worked on this. Uh, so don't look too hard, but this is generally what it's going to look like. Uh, back here is your treasury. This is like a black marble with a gold and silver, collect all that. And that's where you put all your gem armor, your gem weapons, once I start adding them. Um, I don't have, well, maybe, about, maybe 30 gem weapons added to the game when I release this. Not many. Um, this was uh, really asked about. People want me to put something where you can put your, your cut gemstones, your eggs. Like, no one had anywhere to place them. Some people want me to make them placeable. I, th I thought, for me, that's impossible. I don't really, I'm new to this. But uh, I did the best I could here. Gem box there gem keys so you can it's like a little section i still have to add a couple more things um but yeah you can put your gem b statues in there we have only found one i don't even know how you guys find those some people found all of them i don't know uh, yeah, this is not done yet this is just 
this may be a room where I might try making a room, like a separate load room where you can place all the gemstones. It might be like a little collection room, maybe. But that's a future if I have time. On the left of this uh, second floor is a, uh, a bathroom made of sand and turquoise. Uh, yeah, a little tub there. I still got it. It's unfinished, though. Uh, and then, yeah, missing floor. Uh, this is a shrine made of slate, I think, or no. Uh, shale. And uh, right here are retextures of the, uh, all the shrines in the game. Again, I still have the. That's another thing I haven't really worked on that room. Uh, some rooms are very well worked on, though. Like this is the Arcanium, your magic room. And the magical weapons and armor. And uh, your soul gems you put in here. Just, you know, I still got some work to do in here, though. Uh, generally, that's what it's going to look like. This is probably my favorite room right now, is the Apothecary. And it's just loaded with potions and ingredients. And just, oh, just look at this. You feel like you're gonna get stunned, it's great. And this is where your Alchemy Lab is, and where you can place all your ingredients and your potions. Yeah, it's a fun little, and you got Malachite crawling through the wall, like all the, I actually might try and make all the, uh, uh, the furniture here in Malachite, and see what I can do. Try to make everything, every room have its own theme of gemstone somehow. It's kind of like what I was doing with the bathroom with the turquoise over there. Come down the stairs. Uh, right now this is temporary. This is a portal to get the Skyrim. It takes you out, but that's going to be changed. Uh, over here on the right side of the first floor is an armory. And again, still working on it. Uh, mannequins over here. Uh, oh, well that works now. I was having an issue before with this not working. Now it all of a sudden just works. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, so I added all kinds of racks. I changed the color on the uh, the plaques. I thought the red's just... And, and the red in here. I just thought it was just... Like, I see it so much. I just wanted to change it. So I just made it blue. It looks a lot nicer. Oh, there's a little secret room there, by the way. I don't know what to do with this. I just did that. So, I don't know. If anyone has any ideas, I'll change it. Barracks. So this is the barracks for all your followers. But what the hell is going on up there? Ooh, I gotta fix that. That too. Ooh. That's probably an obs obscular plane issue. I don't have my room set up on the right. Ah, I'll deal with that. Anyway, this is where you bring your followers. They sleep here. Uh, even though they own it. Kind of made it look a little fun here. I hope you're looking at that wondering what the hell, well, what are those? Uh, we'll talk about that pretty soon. Uh, add some fruits, I can eat, there's some weapons I can quickly grab. These are some of the weapons I'll be adding uh, when I release 3.0, or at least some of them anyway. There'll be a couple weapons. I gotta really focus on the weapons by themselves because it's just, it's a lot of work. Over here's the dining hall where everyone's gonna eat. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Over here's the kitchen, and yeah, I got a flickering issue I gotta work on. Uh, over here, yeah, I try, try to make it a dwarven fridge area. You can see all your meats and cheeses and everything. Uh, there's all your fruits and vegetables, and over here is a drink maker. So all the fruit you can buy at the gem store or, or take from the tropical garden, you bring over here. Uh, there's a uh, an aquifer in the basement I'll show you. You grab the water, go to the juice maker here, and then you make your your juices, whatever, and they give you a lot of a lot of stats. Um, and some of these things you actually have to make food with, like the tomato sauce. Uh, yeah, so you see, you just, fucking, you just put it, put the fruit in there, pumps it in there, shreds it, spits it out. No animation there, but I mean, that's you get the idea what it, what's going on there. Anyway, a little wine rack, uh, food cabinet, so your cooking pot. Right here's a little food station, and uh, I went to town on this. I added a lot. I made like a cookie you can add, so when you get the chocolate, I think, uh, what, a chocolate bar, wheat, chicken egg, yeah, you just chow down on that. Made a little chocolate bar. That looks like chocolate. Mm. I had some fruit salad, some other things. I still have to add a couple more. Uh, oh, and I even added pizzas to the game. That makes me want a pizza. <laughs> I actually changed it. 
like the Elysian is supposed to be a vegetarian. I try to make it lore friendly as much as I could. Uh, there's a Canadian, but I just made it Nord. It's like all meat and mushroom. All right, that's the kitchen. That's the main lobby. Looks really nice in here. Okay, so I can show you the basement now. So the basement is splits off into three here. So I'll show you this side first. This is the workshop. Oh yeah, I got a little flickering. Again, it's that same issue, that the obscular plane thing. This is like an awkward shape room, so I gotta go back and fix it up. Um, so as you walk in, you got your, you know, your regular smithing, and your forge or whatever. This is where you can put all your different uh, firewoods, which uh, I got none. Damn. Uh, but that's your little firewood station. A little leather. Uh, up here is where all your ingots go. I know I kind of went to town on that, but it's got to look nice. Yeah, tons of pinkets. And right here is a uh, just a little uh, oasis. I may have some use to this later on. I won't divulge that now, but uh... oh, and that pipe. Yeah, I remember that pipe because it goes somewhere. I'll show you right now. Hold on a minute. I'm not even there yet. This is a lapidary room. This was talking about earlier. So this room is you can basically do the same stuff as you can do in the uh, gem shop except it doesn't cost two gem coins because you bought it so you're not renting it uh... here's some of the oh, i guess i can show you some of the gem masks while i'm here the masks were made by uh... Zerim, if i'm saying that right? Natterom or... i'll have it in the uh... the credits but uh... yeah I, these are just retextures of their original work, and I just kind of gemmed them up a little bit. So, like, let's see here. Let's put a gold. Oh, I did make a precious metal. I, did, I thought I didn't. I thought I was going to make them as a blue, but I guess I went the extra mile there. Well, it's a nice little gold look. It's pretty good. Uh, show you a couple examples. There's an obsidian. I try to go for like a glassy, nice glassy look. That looks good. Whoops. stone mass. There we go. And I, I even got the blue shimmer in there. Look at that. If anyone's seen Moonstone before, that's what it's supposed to look like. Or, well, at least a good Moonstone anyway. That's what you'd want it to look like. And, oh my gosh, I made that too shiny. I might have it. Unshina. That might be a little overkill. Um, yeah, and then, uh, so here I'll show, actually, you know what? Yeah, I have a lapis over there. Here, I'll grab these. I'll show you a couple of armors too. But uh, so here's a jeweler's forge. So yeah, you don't see anything. And uh, so what you do when you have a gemstone on you that's related to the specific thing you're going to forge, you just got to be holding it. At least one anyway. And they'll come up. The reason why I do that is because uh, it's going to clutter up like crazy. It just makes it easier. It also kind of leaves a mystery of what you can make. That's kind of like why I like to do it like this way when I make this mod. So I'll show you a couple armors I'm adding. Uh, these I made a while ago, but I just haven't put them in the game yet. This is a jade armor. I don't know if I would meant to do silver or stainless. I'll have to look it up on my list. But uh, it's basically basically a jade armor. Very heavy armor. Pretty cool. And then the uh, lapis armor. Yeah, I'm bringing that back in. That looks really nice. That's actually my favorite armor. Except the, mat, or the hat. I'm not really... For the helmet, sorry. And I added the mask, and that looks way better. Look at that. Now you look like an assassin. Uh, so that's what the armors kind of look like. Pretty much what they look like before. It's a good looking little crafting area. That's a jewel's bench. Uh, right here, you're probably looking at that wondering what that's for. This is actually for, uh, <laughs> don't laugh, but it's actually for grinding coffee. <laughs> um, but also it's going to have different uses. I, I meant to add uh, paintings around the uh, gem home. I was going to make paintings, but uh, I thought of an idea where I would add more use to certain uh, gemstones like malachite and things like that. You can make like, uh, like a green pigment for paint, and then you would actually go up and go up to the wall and then click on it and make an activator, and then uh, you, you just need all the pigments, and then you basically put a painting there. And uh, so you can like add paintings around the gem home. I'd, I'd like to do that. And so you can utilize certain gemstones more than others. No other use anyway. This is the library. Uh, this is under solitude. 
uh, home. I retextured and made it into like a gabbro uh, texture. All kinds of marble and oh, ugh, cat hair everywhere under my nose. Key cat! And uh, oh, right here. This is a uh, brewery I add to the game. This is another little fun thing. So, as you can see, water, bread, yeast, you can make some ale. I also added uh, some fun stuff that you can add. It has all kinds of uh, stats you can do. You can pumpkin ale. I think there's pumpkin in the game. Tequila. And uh, there's some Easter eggs to this. You won't see them here, but you know when you start messing around with this, you'll find even more mixtures of things. <coughs> I don't mean to turn people into alcoholics, but <coughs> that's pretty fun stuff there. Make your own stuff. Anyway, uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave this button here. I might just hide it around here. It's supposed to be more hidden than that. I just have it there temporarily just to make sure it works. Ooh, i got to fix that. That is not good. Go down here, and this is a secret laboratory. Fish tank again. I think it's from Tamira. And uh, I'm not really going to explain what goes on down here. I'm just going to let you guys take a little look. Look and see. And uh, this is up to the player to figure out because a lot of this is a little bit more advanced. Um, there will be a lot of uses to some of this stuff. Uh, but it, again, it's up to the player to just figure it out. Um, there are many benefits you will find in here. Uh, ooh, this isn't even supposed to be in here. That should be in the smithing room. But uh, I'll figure that out. You're probably wondering what that's for. Uh, we go downstairs and yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. Yeah, I can't even. Yeah, I think I think I you have to be wearing a certain armor. But yeah, I'm not gonna say much about that. That's up to the player to figure out. And yeah, that's it. Uh, other than that. Um, I just read someone mention about a bug about, uh, I think it was copper or platinum ores not appearing in the hidden grottoes. I'll have to look at that. Uh, I, honestly, I haven't even found one hidden grotto yet, and I placed them. There's about 50 of them. Still haven't found one. Uh, you really have to stumble upon those or be lucky. I don't know. This one guy said he found, like, he found most of them. I don't even, I, I haven't even found one. But he's having issues. I'll look into that. Uh, shouldn't be uh, too hard to fix. So, uh, I don't know, tell me what you think about this home, if there's anything I should change before I uh, release this. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me, it's probably going to take me, you know, if you, I got like a little one running around, so, you know, there's, there's poop everywhere, there's puke everywhere, you know, I got to like clean stuff, so, uh, we'll, we'll see uh, how much time I have a day to get to this. Um, but I mean, it's pretty much almost done, just a couple of little things I got to tweak out before I release it. Anyway. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think.